creating 3D models with AI and then rigging them in Mixamo has never been easier. Today I will show you a platform that I found that by basically uploading any kinds of concept art or by just writing text, it is going to be able to create outstanding 3D models. As a result, we are going to have a product that can be used in any game engine. Let's get started. So here is the tool and platform that I was talking about. Basically, the platform is called Routing, okay, from um, Hyperhuman, okay? Actually, to use it, it is super simple. You can just click over here, and here you would be able to load in any kinds of concept art that you would like to, uh, to use to generate your 3D models. Or, as I also told you, you can uh, type in any instruction that you want that basically you would describe the 3D model that you would love to generate, okay? Something that I found also quite interesting about uh, routing is the fact that if you scroll down, you can find lots of models that have been created by other people using the platform. So sometimes you can find really cool stuff over here. So for example, find you, we can find here this character that is ready to be downloaded in literally just one click. We can access um, this um, model. So here we have it, and as you can see, it seems outstanding. And well, so if you really want to find here uh, quick things, um, you can take a look at the, the immense catalog that here Rodin provides. And then you also have here the mine uh, section, where basically you will find the assets that you yourself uh, generate, and also maybe other assets that you have downloaded. Okay, I have been testing this a little bit. So I have also downloaded assets from other people, okay? So overall, you're able to generate your own models by using any kind of concept art, image, etc., or by uh, directly typing in the instructions. And finally, if you just want to take a look at pre-made models that other people have already created, you can also do that. Now let's actually generate something. In my case, I'm just going to be uploading an image that I have downloaded, that is like this free character that you can find in Kenny. Um, so then I will click here, generate. The first step of it is to generate the geometry, okay? Um, here it will automatically generate like a description. You may want to adjust it, okay? Uh, here you have other options that as well you can modify if you really want to, okay? You even have the possibility of enabling advanced options and tweaking it um, more deeply. Once that you're happy with the geometry, you're going to click on confirm. And well, actually, here you're going to be able to uh, select the, the amount of polygons. And um, here you can even enable hyper in order to have a better result uh, for thin surfaces. So in here, there are tons of options that you can try out um, on your own. And this may really depend on the exact product that you want, both in the quality of the finished product and also in the exact model that you want to generate, okay? In my case, this is just going to be a quick test for you to try out. So I'm going to confirm it. Now here we have our geometry. Um, now the next step is to generate the material, basically all the colors, textures. Um, so here we have it. And something that is quite interesting is that you can go to the mesh editor and um, basically you're going to be able to actually edit your mesh uh, before creating the materials, okay, so here um, with, for example, the wheel of your mouse, okay, you can move around with the right click, you can like rotate the model. And well, here you may want to add some stuff, for example, uh, the eyes, I don't think they are so clear, okay. So um, here with the brush, I'm going to try to there draw these eyes okay there we have them much better and i could even try to add here like more mouth okay i will click confirm once again here you are able to modify how you want your material to be generated then you can click here in generate and then here you also have um more options the good thing is that you can have here the explanations maybe if you don't know what each of these settings are or you can just google them for more reference okay but i will again click generate and well here we have our character the, the result is amazing of course maybe the material we could write here that the skin is a little bit dark in this case but this is also something that can be easily modified then or for example here in these sections like the, the shirt isn't smooth here um or for example here in the trousers 
also here there is a slight problem but this is something that can be easily fixed in blender or in any other 3d software so it's not a big deal okay um but as you can see take a look at the picture and take a look at the model that they generated even in the hair it is just amazing and again this was generating something like five ten minutes max even less than that because i was also counting the time that i took in order to find this reference but in reality inside of the uh, demos platform basically in hyperhuman um it was something like two or three minutes so lastly you will click here on the confirm and finally you can tweak the final values in order to pack everything correctly and lastly click download now in order to animate our characters we are going to be using mixamo um, something you have to know is that in some characters, um, this may not work so well um, because Binxamo isn't super accurate and also the models that are generating the platform may have some small issues that may cause then the animation to, for example, stick the hands and the arms to the body, okay, so the animation overall will look a little bit weird. Um, so I would suggest that you choose a model or that you generate a model that somehow has the arms okay a little bit separated from the body okay as well as the um as well as the legs okay because if everything is a little bit stick together then it's not going to work properly or mix some of course you can still download the model edit them in in any 3d software um and then rig it there okay but well here we are trying to do everything like in the fastest and easiest way possible Basically, that this is the reason why I'm using this model and not the one that we generated because the hands are so close here to the to the body itself that probably makes some of this uh, it will have uh, some problems. So I will just download this model that I found there in the marketplace. Let's say that I found um, that I showed a couple of minutes ago. This is going to download a zip file that then we are, we are going to load in Mixamo. So here I actually have the the model already loaded in in Mixamo, but I'm going to upload it again. Let's click here next, and we are going to drag and drop here the corresponding elements inside of the model, okay? The other chin, the wrists would be right here, elbows right here, knees right there, let's say. And the groin right there okay once again you may need to really uh, adjust this depending on your own model okay so because then maybe when you actually start animating it uh, maybe you find some issue so you may have to auto read it again but anyway here is the model again as you can see yes it looks outstanding okay um it doesn't have the textures here but then in the game engine you're going to quickly be able to load the textures in so let's basically here look for the animations that we may want to use so i will download here an idle animation and uh let's for example take a look at this one okay here we have it so let's download it um i will download it like this and let's wait just a moment amazing uh, let's look other animation in this case a walking animation of course you can look for any animation that you want i'm just here uh, going to between uh, an example so uh let's for example download this walking animation okay i will enable in place so that it is easier than to move in the game engine that you may be using and let's click download and download now in blender let's put uh, together all the animations so uh let's go to file and then over here import and i will uh, import my fvx files in my case i have them in the downloads folder and have both my adult and walking so let's import them let's give it a second there we go let me zoom in okay and there we have uh, our characters now what happens is that we actually have like all the animations happening together so let me play here the animation Oh, well, as you can see here, we have like tons of characters on the same place. Uh, so, of course, we want to uh, avoid this. Um, now, what we have to do is to delete everything, but not our armature, okay? Uh, basically, the armature that has like no number, no anything. So, let's here delete this. Um, delete. Okay, then also here this mesh over here. Let's delete it as well. So, the only thing that your scene should have is this armature, okay? 
Now let's basically select it and then we're going to go to the animation tab. Now here let's click uh, action editor and um, here on the browse action to be linked we we can see in, the, in my case two options because these are the two animations that I downloaded. Um, so let's basically play this animation and this is the walking animation okay. So let's rename it to something like walking okay and if this is the walking this should be the idle so let's check it out yes indeed it seems that it's not moving because the animation it's like a little bit static but there is the animation so this one's going to be idle now let's actually export this so file export and well uh, in this case for good out let's say that the first format uh, is gltf but well depending on your exact game engine this may vary a little bit but well i will export it as this uh, and I will save it in my downloads, okay? I will put it the name of something like character, okay? And I will click export. Let me show you how you would import this into some game engine. So let's basically here first import our character file that we have created. And then I will right click on it and um, I will uh, click over here where it says um, new inherited scene. Okay, so this will allow me to actually uh, open up the character. As you can see, it is super small in this case, so I will just scale it in uh, to something like 15. Okay, uh, so now we actually have to apply the texture. So for this, we have our zip file that we downloaded for uh, from routing. So let's extract this. Um, so here we have actually um, the textures, okay? So we will basically import all of them. We are not going to be using all of them, but just to have them. So to modify the textures, okay, you would go into the um, into the um, uh, skeletal mesh instance uh, 3D. Basically, this node over here, uh, surface material override, and here I will create a new standard material. I will open it up, um, and here well I would load in the textures, okay. So here in the albedo, okay, I would load in the uh, the fuse texture, okay. This this starts to look good. Then in the metallic, I will drag and drop the texture metallic. Uh, the roughness, the same thing, okay. And like this, we have our character looking good, okay. In the same way that it looked in routing. Uh, and then in the animation player, okay, we have here the idle animation, okay. And then we also have here the walking animation, okay? Re ready, ready, ready to be used, okay? So uh, this is all for today's video. I really encourage you to start using um, routing. It is an amazing tool that is going to really save you a lot of time. Of course, it, it may still need to um, be improved in some aspects, okay? But it's a, it is a platform that has been released to, uh, quite, quite recently. And they are always uploading new content, um, and releasing new content and fixing uh, what is already there. So I really recommend you to uh, still keep an eye on routing because uh, it is massive and it's going to be even better in the near future, of course. I will see you in the next video. Um, bye bye.